Shalom. Oh, man, I ain't ready. All right, Shalom. I got you. Go ahead. We are TTIC, and I'm going to read the disclaimer. TTIC, also known as the Truth in Christ, is a Bible-based organization. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. We teach the Bible as it is written. We are not a hate group, nor do we teach violence. We do not condone any acts of hate or violence against any race, ethnicity, gender, and religious groups. We firmly believe in abiding by the laws of the city and state. If you witness any member of TTIC committing a crime, please contact us or the proper authorities. All right, shalom, most high Christ the best. I'm Brother Mark, TTIC, which stands for the truth in Christ, just in case you didn't know. Happy Sabbath to you, brothers and sisters. Uh, I'm hoping you're having a good Sabbath today. Uh, I'm hoping y'all in the mood to learn. Today is a uh, today is a uh, class that I did. I wrote this class about a month ago. I think it was about a month, month and a half ago. Today is a heavy class. This is uh, one of these. This is one of these good ones. Okay, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is one of these good ones today. All right, we're gonna. Uh, it's called the sickness of the world. Today's class is called the sickness of the world. All right. We're going to start off with Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So, if, if y'all have faith, if y'all have faith, you will understand that that scripture right there is telling you that through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So the things which are seen are not made by the things that do appear. So the things, so what that telling you is man did not make the moon. Man did not make the sun. Man did not make the sea. Let me give you an example of what I mean by sea. What everybody knows, I know every all y'all have seen where the sea, where the rivers run into the sea. And the waters be black where the uh, rivers are. And then when you get to the ocean, it'd be a lighter color. Everybody see that? But the waters cannot cross. They cannot cross each other. Everybody see that? So that's showing you right there that men is like, wow, how did that happen? Let's get that in Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. Man is like, wow, how did that happen? Because the reason why is men don't know how it happened, but they want to, they want to, Try to uh, redo it. Let's put it that way. They want to try to redo it themselves, but they can't read what you got. Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 9. The thing that have been, it is that which shall be. So this thing was made from the beginning. The thing that is, is the thing that shall be. Watch this. And that which is done is that which shall be done. Come on. And there is no new thing under the sun. So there's no new thing under the sun. These things has already been made from the beginning. These things have been made from the beginning. The river running into the sea, all that's been made from the beginning. When you when you look at the beginning, when you say look at the uh, Genesis one, no two, two or three is two. When it talks about the rivers, the Euphrates, the uh, the Jordan is the first with the Euphrates, the uh, uh, the Tigris, and the uh, what's the other river? The, the what? The Gihon, or Pisan, or something. Tigris, Euphrates. Let's see. Two and uh thirteen. I think it's right there. Two thirteen or eleven. And I have a pronunciation for it. Gion. 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 Alright. So those those when those rivers, all those rivers went into the what? Into the sea. Those rivers went into the sea. So this thing was already done. 
Go back to Ecclesiastes 1. And let me see. Do I want to start with verse 8? Let me get there also. One of them's talking about the sea. Is it 8? Not 8, though. Seven. 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 Come on. That's what I want. Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 7. All the rivers run into the sea. There it goes. That's why I went to Genesis 2 to show you. All rivers run into the sea. What, what is the... Uh, hold that real quick because I, I'm going off. I'm already going off my class, but I just want to bring out a point. Give me 2 Corinthians. Uh, I mean, not 2 Corinthians. 2 Ezra. 2 Ezra 5 and 8. That's what I want. 2 Ezra 5 and 8. Because it says all rivers run into the sea. Yet the sea is not full. Meaning it cannot over what? Overrun. It cannot overflow, overrun. However you want to say it. Read what you got, Austin. Uh, second, first you said. Second Ezra. second Ezra. Chapter 5, verse 8. Second Ezra 5 and verse 8. Uh-huh. There shall be a confusion also in many places. There shall be a confusion in many places. Watch this. And the fire shall be off sent out again. Read. That's, that's talking about going, going to the, uh, for the, the fires that we have. Read. And the wild beasts shall change their place. And the wild beasts shall change their place. And minstrels women shall bring forth mocks. That's where we at right now. Okay, so we're not going to get into that part today, but we're going to talk about and the wild beasts should change their places. If y'all ever notice, now let's go back to Ecclesiastes also. Well, 1 and 7 again. Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 7. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Read. Unto the place from whence the rivers come. Read. Till they return again. And until they run return again. So now, if y'all ever notice, I don't know if y'all been paying attention, but I, alligators and crocodiles have been going into the rivers where they don't live in the rivers. Mm. But but now you will start looking real tall. It's, it's not good for you to swim in these little ponds and lakes no more because alligators are finding their way in them now. Where they was, where they one time they was never there. Now they what? They there. Beasts are changing. They what? Places. They places. You look up. People are getting attacked by these things. Mm -hmm. People are getting attacked by these alligators, crocodiles. It's a fact. Let's go back, officer. Hebrews. Hebrews eleven. Verse 3. And verse 3. It says, Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Uh -huh. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. You see that the things is was seen is not made through the things that appear. So man did not make mountains. Man did not make trees. Man did not make the star, moon, sun, or none of that. They didn't make that. But man will tell you that they made those things. Man will tell you that they made those things, but they didn't make those things. So watch this. Deuteronomy 28, 28. Deuteronomy 28, in verse 28. Uh -huh. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. What is that madness going into? That madness is going into a crazy mindset. That's the madness. That crazy man said would make our women put on blind wigs or blind they her or make the men put the tip of their, their dreads and bleach them so they can turn blonde or blindish orange. Orange, 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 orange is blind. So something like that. That, that. That's madness. <clears throat> Madness also go into where a person just don't care no more, where you could just kill another man or woman just out of frustration. That's madness. Read. And blindness. And blindness. The blindness is that our people don't see our oppressors right in front of us. That's a hell of a blindness right there. 
Officers say it's a Stockholm Syndrome, and that's exactly what it is. It's a stock, so, Stockholm Syndrome, but the Stockholm Syndrome is caused by God blinded us. Where we don't see, we think that our, we think that our own people hurt, hurt or hate or hurting us more than the oppressor is. That's a blindness. We think that uh, another blindness is, you got to remember, these scriptures is not just for the Israelites that are dead-minded. The scriptures is also for you brothers and sisters who's woke. Your, 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 your blindness could be that you think that somebody in your family, some one of your friends, one of your brothers, one of, and you can think that your, anybody, your mama, y'all can think that somebody's cool with y'all. That's some of the blindness that you got. But if they not cool with God, how they cool with you? You ever notice how people love things that don't love them? Real talk. You get me and men out here, watch this. I'm going to give y'all an example. Me and a little girl that asleep on him 40 times. And he still go back to her. I love you. You blind as hell that she don't love you, bro. She, I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. Next thing you know, Tom is over. Er, 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 he get caught again. That's blindness, man. Blindness is having a brother. I don't know if everybody here might got a brother. Some, some might not. Or on online, you have a brother. That brother keeps stealing your money, and you cover it up with, "Well, it's my brother." But every time you, you leave some money somewhere, your brother takes that money. You cover it up with, well, it's my brother. You know, I ain't got number one brother. That's blindness. Blindness is get rid of that nigga. Get him from around you, man. Get him from among you. That's blindness. If he keeps stealing from you, bro, He's showing you that he don't love you. How about you really needed that money to go get some medicine and he just stole it and you died because you couldn't get your medicine? I guess he really loves you, didn't he? Don't be stupid, man. That's blindness, greed. And astonishment of all. We just had a class on this. I forgot what the title of the class was, but we had a class on this going through these right here. It was just like maybe a couple of weeks ago. But that, that's an astonishment of heart is depression. We depress because don't nothing goes right for us. That's part of the curses. In the truth and out of the truth, that's part of the curses. You wake up in the truth and you think that you're going to be friends with everybody. You think everybody's going to be cool with you. No one's cool with you trying to get saved and they know they can't. You know, honestly, I think our people honestly know that y'all brothers out there teaching this word, not all of them, but I'm talking about the ones who keep God's laws, the ones that are teaching God's law. I think they honestly know that those guys is like, them guys is like gods. They like angels. And they look at themselves as, I ain't nothing. And that's why it's so much attitude with our people. Because they 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 understand they they depressed because they said I can't do what those brothers is doing. I can't change my life like that. It's because they don't have faith. They'll say they have faith, but you can't have faith if you don't believe enough to change. That's the that's the astonishment. That's the depression right there. You got you got depression. Because you don't believe. Come on. Hello, you know, when you say also that astonishment leads right back to the blindness. Because they're so blind they can't see that they have a way out. That's heavy. Yeah. All praise the officer George. That's great, great, great. That was great. Yes. That leads right back to the blindness because they cannot see that they do don't they have a way out, but they can't see that way. You're right. Yeah. And then, and then, uh, then, and then, and, and that leads back to that can't thing, like you were just saying. They feel like they can't. They, that, like we're superhuman. The brothers is trying to get on the right side, but it's like we got something special about us that 
they they don't have. Right. Right. We well, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer uh, two things. I'm gonna say on that. Give me uh, give me Proverbs two, uh, twelve and twenty six, and then I had something before you said that. Then I was Greek. Oh, uh, before you read that, give me Matthew's uh, give me Matthew's five and forty eight also before you read that. We done with Hebrews. You can drop it. Matthew 5, <clears throat> verse 48. Watch this. It says, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which in, is in heaven is perfect. See, that's their that's they way out. But before them not believing that they can be perfect, for them not believing that, they, they're blind to it, like you just said. They're blind to, not, to that scripture. They're blind. They don't see that scripture as it is written. One more time. Read it one more time, officer. All right, Matthew 5 and verse 48. Watch this. Be ye therefore perfect. Be ye therefore perfect. Even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. See, they don't have no vision. So they blind. They don't see that scripture as it says. Their interpretation of that scripture is that you can't be perfect. But Christ is telling them to be perfect, right? Now give me the other law. You can drop that down. Proverbs 12. He said 12 and 26. That's yeah. Right. yeah. I might said 28, but yeah, 26, yeah. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. The, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. So right, you're right, I was a joy. They might see us as we're better than them, but we are. Because the Bible says the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Uh, uh, can we slip and fall back in the sin? Yes, we can. But as we keep these God, God's laws and we keep on striving to be perfect, we are excellent than our other brothers. That means that we, we, we believe in God and we have a zeal for God according to our works and not just according to saying his name. Make sense? Anything else? Okay. But well, that was a great, great point. Great point, also. All right. Give me Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 9. You made me add a little bit to it. That was a <laughs> great point. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 9, please. Jeremiah 4, verse 9. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass at that day, saith the Lord, that the heart of the king shall perish. That the what? Heart of the king shall perish. Now, hold on. Hold that real quick and give me, uh, uh, give me the heart. Genesis 6 and verse 5. Uh -huh. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Read. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. So the heart is dealing with your mind, brothers and sisters. It's not dealing with that thing, that organ that pumps blood through your body. It's not dealing with that. So it's talking about your mind. So let's go back to uh, Jeremiah 4 again. Jeremiah 4 in verse and it shall come to pass if that day saith the Lord that the heart of the king shall perish meaning the what guys the mind of the kings the leaders shall what perish read and the heart of the princes and the heart of the princesses which is talking about the people shall perish so you're going to have the leader and then you're going to have the people's heart perish watch this read and the priest shall and, be and the what and the priest Shall be astonished. Meaning, astonished is what? Depressed. Huh? Depressed. No, astonished. Astonished. Amazed. Amazed. Oh, yeah. They're going to be shocked. Mm -hmm. Read. And the prophets shall wonder. And they're going to wonder. <laughs> so now, hold on, with that, we're going to preach something. You ain't holding nothing else, right? Yeah. All right, give me that Proverbs. Um, Proverbs. 29. I got to go there. And 12. That's what I want. Proverbs 29 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. If a ruler hearken to lies. If a ruler hearken to lies. So if your king is, is your, if your king heart is gone, if your leader's heart is gone, mm -hmm. your heart is what? Because you're listening to the king. Yeah. So if your ruler heart is, is messed up, your head's going to be messed up. Read it again. If a ruler hearken to lies. If a ruler hearken to lies. All his servants are wicked. So he, that's the whole point. The rest of the people that is around him is wicked as well. 
So now, let, now let's read Jeremiah 4 and 9 straight through also and see do we get understanding now. All right, Jeremiah 4 and 9. And it shall come to pass at that day, saith the Lord, that the heart of the king shall perish mm -hmm. and the heart of the princes. Three. And the priest shall be astonished and the prophets shall wonder. So you're going to have that day right there when everybody's mind is going to go astray. That's Jeremiah 17 and what? 4. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 17 and 4, right there. So you will have that day when everybody's mind is going to be gone. And it did happen. Did it or did it not come to pass? Yes, that came to pass. So if your if the if your ruler, if you're following a brother who is wicked, if you in a, a church and a woman is your pastor, and if you're in a church and a man is your pastor, what, what is happening is your heart is wicked like their heart. You're following what they believe in. That's the reason why you are depressed, which is what is uh, 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 astonished. I mean, the astonishment of man. That's why you are blind because you can't see the Bible because you're following people who's blind. And that's why you're in madness. You will say you will go to the club. You will twerk all night. You will take a dude home. And then you will go to church in the morning and say, Jesus Please forgive me of my sins. You are caught up in madness. Sus, God didn't hear you when you threw up the prayers before you went to the club. He, God, when y'all say God know my heart, he really truly do know your mind. He know exactly what your mind said is about Give me that in uh, Proverbs 27. Man of right, officer. 27. And that's the last verse. These are 27 and 28. The last verse. Proverbs 28. You said the book with Thought it was this. I'm looking for Lord have mercy. I ain't that no, I ain't bigger. God made man upright. Anybody know where I'm seeing? Oh, that's a, oh, please ask Ah, give me it, officer. I'm way out of I'm way out of sure. Proverbs. <laughs> give me Ecclesiastes then, man. There we go. I'm in Proverbs. Seven. Seven. Seven twenty nine. There you go. It's just brought it to my head. Come on. All right, please ask T's. 7 verse 29. Uh-huh. Lo, this only have our found, that God hath made men upright. He only made men upright, read. But they have sought out many inventions. See, that's that's your mindset, big gone. All those things you put in your mind, that's why your mind is gone. That's what makes our people sick out here. Because you we like, if you eat too much cake, what happens? You get sick. You get sick. <clears throat> If you drink too much water, what happens? You get sick. Mm -hmm. So if you got too many philosophies in your mind, your mind get what? Sick. You get sick. So give me Romans 1 and 26. Romans 1 and verse 26. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even the women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Which that which is against nature. Is that it? In, you want 27? No. Read 26 one more time. Romans 1 and verse 26. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. Unpleasant things. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So what I mean is, God said the women change the natural use. The natural use of a woman is for a woman to be with a man. And for a man to be with a what? A woman. 
So when, when God gave us up to those things, he gave our minds up to those things. People don't understand it. That, that goes into the blindness and the what? Madness. It goes into those things. Because he said, he said, let's read it one more time. I'm sorry, also. Yeah. Romans 1, verse 26. <laughs> and for this cause, God gave them up unto battle effects. He gave them up to unpleasant things. Why? Why did he give us up to unpleasant things? Because we refused to hearken unto his laws. The unpleasant things out here is, is birthdays. The unpleasant things is breaking of his Sabbath. Man on man, woman on woman. Transgenders with bathrooms with regular people. God gave us up to those things. Come on. Verse 27. Hold on. Oh. I was watching on Facebook the other day have a little, you know, little thing on there. Had this LGBTQ alphabet person in, in the court of law. So I forget what it was about, but this person admitted to the fact that they was gay. Uh, they was a teacher in school, like a first grade teacher or something like that. And uh, they was a stripper and so forth. And they was going to be, he was like, he was proud of this thing. Yeah, I'm going to be teaching your kids. And I'm going to teach them uh, 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 about gay and lesbianism and such and such and such. And um, I, I, it didn't, and it was like, uh, tell me where I'm wrong. Even in the Bible says that to love thy neighbor, to love thy neighbor. And, and, and uh, uh, he went on to say, um, Kind of broke down there for a second. Mm -hmm. Like he was wanting to cry, but then he got himself back together again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And But I'm sitting here watching this thing, and I'm saying, man, how sick mm -hmm. is society? Because this person admitted, you know, having sex with men mm -hmm. and all this kind of thing, but this person was proud of the fact that, yeah, I'm going to be teaching your kids. You know, just like that, you know, I said, wow, man, this is unbelievable. I mean, it, 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 it was like he had the God-given right, and then he spoke of the fact that uh, there's nothing in the Bible that says it's wrong to be gay. And I'm thinking, wow, this is crazy. You get a lot of brothers of people to say that, uh, brothers, to say that the uh, Bible was written by the white man. But I'm thinking myself when I was looking at that, amongst all the things he was saying, I looked, I see, I peeped that, I said, well, he's white. How come he don't understand his own book if the book was his? Right. You know, and, and, and surely Romans, uh, go to Leviticus. Right. It speaks against homosexuality. Yes. So that, that that's why, give me, uh, hold that, officer, give me Psalm chapter 50, verse 16. We're going to come right back. Don't they got the uh, what they call the devil's Bible? At the yes, they got uh, the devil's Bible. Yes, that's must be what he's really doing. <laughs> <laughs> but but off the back of what you're saying is now he's talking about the Bible yeah. because the reason why is y'all got to remember a simple basic scripture is Psalms 147, 19 and 20. I'm just gonna quote it real quick. Yeah. Uh, he showed up his word to Jacob, his statutes and his judgments to Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. As for, his day, as for my judgments, he have not known them. So these people, they can read the Bible, but they don't understand what it's saying. They don't understand the judgments behind it. So evidently, they, what they don't understand is only a person that this Bible is for can activate it. That's the only word. That's the only word. So if y'all ever remember in the book of, I mean, the, the movie called The Book of Eli. When they chased Eli for that book, they killed, they shot him, right? They shot him for that book. The whole time, he'll remember the whole Bible in his way. And that's what we do. So that, that's why they don't understand that. The, the Bible is written in your mind. It's in your mind. That's why we study it, to get it in our mind. Okay? So... What they don't what they don't understand is 
they see it on paper and they don't understand it, but we got it in our what? In our minds. That's two different people. Read what you got. You said 50 and uh, 16. Right. <clears throat> Psalm 50 and verse 16. So this is off the back of what you said. He said, I don't see nothing in this that's written in the Bible. Read. Watch this. But unto the wicked, God said, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? What do thou have to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. And that thou should take thy covenant in thy mouth. Watch this. Seeing that have that hate is instruction. Seeing that you hate instructions. And casting as my words behind thee. Did you see that? So this is the people that he speaks. He's talking about Esau right here. He's talking about the so-called white man. Y'all hate instructions. But they'll, you'll be fooled by these people yep. because when they go to their jobs, they want you to follow the instructions of their jobs to the what? Jesus. To the T. Well, we sorry we had to fire you because we told you if you punch a minute late, you know, we sorry. They not sorry. They happy that your black butt is gone. They not sorry. So when you when you when you was looking at that officer George and that man said that, he he cast God's words behind his back. Because he said, Ain't no word in the Bible, you ain't even read the Bible. You just quoting something. And that just shows you that the devil, the devil reading the Bible, you cannot understand it. All right, let's go back to where we was. Romans 1, 26 again, so I get back. All right, Romans 1 to verse 26. For this cause God gave them up into vile affections. For even the women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Give me Lamentations uh, 3 and 2. Levitations. Start with verse one. Levitations, right, right before Z. Yeah. 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 Levitations five, verse one. No, three and one. Three and one. It says, "I am the man that have seen the affliction by the rod of his wrath." Read. I'm a man that seen the affliction by the rod of his of his staff. Come on, read. He have led me and brought me into darkness. He have led me and brought me into darkness. This is Jeremiah speaking. Come on. But not into light. But not into light. Surely against me is he turned. He turneth his hand against me all the day. My flesh and my skin. No, that's it. Uh, just read two again. Verse two. He had led me and brought me into darkness. And God had led me and brought me into what? Darkness. Read. But not into light. But not into light. That's 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 the that's the two manner of nations that is in God. You got give me that uh, Genesis 25, 21. That's the two manner of nations. I'm ready to break this down for you right here. It just came to my head. Watch it. Genesis 25 and verse 21. Uh -huh. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. Uh -huh. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. Read. And the children struggled together within her. Uh, see, and his children. God, he was he was praying for one child, but God says, you know what? I'm going to give you two because I, I need to bring forth this other kid for this reason. Read. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? Hey, so she said, Lord, if it's so, why am I thus? You you the one said that I can have this baby. You made me have this baby. Read. And she went to inquire of the Lord. So she went to fast to talk to the Lord and ask them why. Read. Watch what the Lord says to her. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Two what? Nations are in thy womb. Two nations in thy womb. And to those two nations as today is uh the so-called Israelites. And the so-called white men, well, not the so-called Israelites, the so-called African-American mm -hmm. and the, the, there you go, that's me. The so-called African-American and the so-called white man, which is what God's going to show you. His name is right here. It says, and the two men or people shall be separated from their bowels and the one people shall be stronger than the other. So one people is going to be stronger than the other. Watch this, read. And the elder shall serve the younger. And the elder shall serve the uh, younger. Watch this. 
And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. There was twins. And the first came out red all over like an hairy garment. So that's the birth of the so-called white man right there. And, and they know, they, they try to say this is racist, but how can you have who you are identifying who you are as racist? Mm. This, the Bible identifies who you really, truly are. You are not white. The white man, you can put a piece of paper beside you. You look nothing like that piece of paper. Just like we can put a piece of black, like this black back here. We are not that color. We're not. So, come on, read. It says, and they call his name Esau. And they call his name Esau. So that's who he is. So, when, when God says surely against me is he turned he turned his hands against me all the day so who is that so who is God when God when your two nations was in God's womb who did he chose who did he choose let's go to Romans chapter 9 yes sir I'm sorry let's go to Romans Romans yep Romans 9, and I want to start with verse 6. Romans 9 and verse 6. Watch this. Not as though the word of God have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Which are of Israel. Esau was born of Rebekah and Jason, Jacob, which is, uh, I mean, Rebekah and Isaac, which is of what? Israel. Israel. So Esau was not Israel, because you got to remember, he said, two manner of people. Two different nations is in thy womb. <laughs> now, watch this. Jump down to verse 8. Keep on going. Read verse. No. Keep on reading. Verse 7. All right. Verse 7. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. And Isaac. Come on. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. These are not the children of God. Come on. But the children of the promise. Are counted for the seed. The children of the promise is counted of the seed. So Abraham had more children, more, more children than uh, Isaac. He had Ishmael, and then he had more children after that. They was not counted as the what seed because it was from Sarah. Read, come on. For this is the word of promise. This is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one. Even by our father Isaac. Read. For the children being not yet born. Hold on. Go back to verse 10 and read it again. Verse 10. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one. Stop. How many, how many, back, how many kids did Rebecca have? Two. Why did he just say it's one? Oh. Oh. They had two children, but it was only one of them that counted. The other one didn't count. Right. Read, watch this. Even by our father Isaac. Even by our father Isaac, watch this. For the children being. They only said the children, letting you know that it was more than a person's one. Yeah. Down here is letting you know they had two children. Watch this, come on. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil. Read. That the purpose of God according to the election might stand. Come on. Not of works. Not of works. But of him that calleth. Read. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. Hold on, read 11 again. I'm sorry, I, I missed the whole thing. Verse 11. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to the election might stand. Stop. So God chose those children. The, the child that he chose was Jacob. They had no works, good or evil, but God made a what? Choice. Who did he choose? He chose Jacob. What color was Jacob? He was brown. brown. He was our color. And just because you see us as brown and you see Africans as brown, two different what? Two different, two different nations. So it's not talking about the Africans. If you ever remember, we always fought against the Hellites, the Hellites, the Jebusites, the uh, Canaanites. We always fall against them. The Philistines, Stevens, 
Steve. Yeah, whatever. That's what she was saying. All right, we always fall against them. But watch this. Come on. And, then, and, and not by the words, but him they call it. Come on. It says, uh, verse 12. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. Who is the younger? Jacob. Esau came out first. Read. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. That's, that's what our people say right now today. God, how can you kill that little baby? How about, so you're telling me if God come back right now and it was a little white baby or a little Arab baby or a little Chinese baby, what you saying? You wouldn't save him? No. Who saved our kids when we came over in captivity? Where was the Japanese man at when we came here? Where was the Arab man at? Oh, they sold us. Where was the Africans at? Oh, they sold us. That's the blindness and madness that our people deal with because these same people that sold us, mm -hmm. y'all take up for them more than y'all take up for y'all own people. Here we are in the streets, God raising us up early to go out and teach our people, but our people hate us because we teaching about God. But they say they love God, but they hate anything about God, law. God is law. Watch this. Let's hit on that also. Let's go back. That was uh, madness. Now let's go to blindness. Isaiah 1 and 3. Nope, I, I thought I did a class on this. This is the class. Okay. This is the class. My bad, guy. I said I did a class two weeks ago. This is the class. I just now see it. Blindness. Watch this. All right, Isaiah 1 and verse 3. The ox know of his owner. The ox know of his owner. And the ass is master's crib. The ass is master's crib. But Israel do if not know. The, the, the black, Hispanic, and Native Indians do not know. My people do if not consider. We don't even consider that we are God's chosen people. We don't even consider. Us alone with our God, we don't even consider it. In people's head, that, that's a phenomenon. That's an astonishment alone right there to think that you are like God's chosen people. Look at God. That's an astonishment, man. Yeah. To our people, man, yeah. they, they cannot believe that God chose you. So when we read Deuteronomy 7 and 6, they always added your class. Mm -hmm. What about your oppressor? Yeah. They always added their oppressor in there. Yeah. And no matter if it's the Japanese, Japanese, Chinese, so-called white man, Arab, they always want to add their oppressor, oppressor in there. Yeah. Whoever he is. Because you gotta remember in China. Their head oppressor is the Chinese man. In in Palestine, their head oppressor is the Arabs. Here in America, our head oppressor is the so-called white man. So wherever you at, that's your oppressor. Do you got now? So they know if the Japanese is or Chinese oppressing them. And when they on this side, the white man's oppressing us. They they don't now when you understand the Bible, you understand that we've been oppressed. You'll start to understand Psalms 83 and 1, yeah. 1 through 6. You'll start to understand 1 through 7 or something like that. You'll start to understand that all those nations were in all those nations. Yeah. And we're getting oppressed in every one of those na every one of those nations. Come on. That's why they say uh, in, in Psalms 83, uh, they, they were confederate against us. Yes. They, they themselves have it out amongst themselves. Yes. They war amongst themselves, but they made that one agreement that was to come against us. There you go. That one agreement is to keep us into captivity. So it all matters if you flee out of what, America? It was that doctrine that came out. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Flee from America. We gotta go back to the homeland. What is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. That's it. Yo, yeah. everybody, everybody, leave America, America. and yeah. go back to the homeland because America's gonna be destroyed. But this is how you know that our brothers don't have no understanding because if when you read Zephaniah fourteen or you read Isaiah sixty six, it tells you that uh, Israel is gonna be destroyed. That's why he said I'm gonna bring a new heaven and a new earth. Yeah. I think it was. So it kills the doctor. Right? It kills the doctor, though. Know? So now, where was we at, officer? Uh, Isaiah. Now, give me Isaiah twenty nine thirteen. Isaiah twenty nine thirteen. Watch this. Isaiah twenty nine and verse thirteen. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. And with their lips do, do honor me. So that's that's like today. A uh, 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 elder evangelist woman at our church rolled up on us today. And she told us at the end of the thing, we gave her scriptures at the end of the day, and she didn't listen to God's scriptures at all. But at the end of it, she told us, see, y'all don't have no understanding of the Bible. Y'all need to come and learn from me. <laughs> Damn. She's trying to bring us back into captivity. But this is her right here. Read it again, officer. This is her. Listen to what it's saying. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as his people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. The precept of men is saying a woman can wear which pertains to a man. That's the precept of man. A precept of man is saying that you can uh, uh, celebrate Christmas birthdays. It's, it's your free will. That's a precept of man. Everybody, we we know, one thing that our people don't understand is this. Watch this. Hold that. We can be right back to verse fourteen on this. But hold that and give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter thirty and fifteen. Watch this. Deuteronomy thirty and verse fifteen. See, I've set before thee this day life and good. So God said he set for us this day life and good. And death and evil. And death and evil. And that I commanded thee, I commanded thee this day to love the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. To walk in his ways. Uh -huh. And to keep his commandments. Read. And his statutes and his judgments. That thou mayest live and multiply. So if we keep God's law, statutes, commandments, God set for us this day. Good. I, I want the other one. Give me the other one. Uh, Deuteronomy 11, 26. I want the other one because it says a specific word that I want. Deuteronomy 11 in verse 26. Watch this. Behold, I set before thee, I'm set before you this day a blessing and a curse. A blessing and a curse. Watch this. A blessing if ye obey the commandment of the Lord your God, uh -huh. which I command you this day, and a curse if you will not obey the commandments Agreed. of the Lord your God. But turn aside out of the way, which I command you this day. To go after other gods which ye have not known. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass. When the Lord thy God have brought thee in unto the land, whither thou goest to possess it, that thou shalt put the blessing upon Mount Gis Gisrael. Uh, that's it. That's it. So God gave us a choice right there. Good to serve good and what? Evil. You either, we can either serve a uh, him or we can serve a curse. And when that woman ran up on us today, she didn't even understand that she was seeing good before her and she didn't see it in her vision that she was evil. She reversed it and said that she was good. Give me that. You know what I want? Isaiah, what is it? Isaiah 5 and 20. Give me that. She didn't see it in her vision that she was evil and we was good. You can drop that. Do it around mm -hmm. Isaiah 5 and verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good. But woe unto them that call evil good. And good evil. That's what she said to us. That's it's all that's all I want right there, Alice. That's what that's, that's I ain't gotta get into it deep. That's what she said. She said that she was good and we was evil. But God says, Woe unto them, meaning destruction. Let's go back and read what you got. Isaiah 29 and verse 14. There you go. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people. Uh -huh. Even a marvelous work and a wonder. And the power. So God said, I will do a marvelous work and a wonder. What was the marvelous work that God did to us? Give me uh, Daniel chapter 9 
and verse uh, 12. I'm adding this here. I shouldn't even be adding this here because I don't even know if I got it in here. But go ahead. All right, Daniel 9 and verse 12. And he hath confirmed his words which he spake against us. This is the, this is, he hath confirmed his words. Watch his read. And against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. Read. For under the whole heaven. Under the whole heaven. Have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. And been done unto Jerusalem. Is as, it it? As, are you on 13? No, it's it. Okay. So, and, and so God brought upon us a great evil. Let's go back to Isaiah 29. So that great evil God brought about, that's that marvelous work he doing. Watch this. Verse uh, 14. <clears throat> the wise man shall perish. No, scroll down quick here. Right. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder. Read. For the wisdom of their wise men shall perish. And the wisdom of their smart men shall perish. So God's right there letting you know that he was going to take away the laws from amongst our people. He was, he's letting you know right there he's going to take away the laws from amongst our people. Come on. And the understanding of their prudent men shall be here. Come on. Woe well unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. Uh -huh. And their works are in the dark. Read. And they say, who seeth us? Who seeth us? And who knoweth us? Who knoweth us? Read. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Going into Esau. Read. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. He made me not. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had not. He had no understanding. Uh huh. Go ahead. Go, mm -hmm. I see. It, I see. It. So Esau, right here, when it, when it, when thirteen is letting us know that we 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 going by the precept of men. And then God explains uh, who those people are. We following. Everybody understand? We saw we following the, the we following their people with their doctrines, with their philosophies, with their ways. And God says in, in verse 16, surely you're turning up his thing, surely you're turning things up side down. Meaning, they're saying that the law is evil, and evil is good. That's what they say. That's what Esau is saying. So that's the blindness of our people right there. We don't know that Esau have reversed God's laws. We don't know that he reversed it. I know I was in George. I was like, I, I had to turn it back around. I'm still thinking about us. And it was, it was, <laughs> I was like, hold on, let me go back. Read that there. Go from our office to Jabali. Give me second Thessalonians 2 and 3. Second Thessalonians 2 and verse 3. All right. Here's where it gets a little interesting, guys. Stay with me. Come on, read. Let no man deceive you by any means. Let no man deceive you by any means. Read. For that day shall not come, except their coming falling away first. And that man of sin shall be revealed. Or man of sin be revealed. Where, where are you at, Austin? You said Second, Second Thessalonians, Thessalonians 2, and two, 2 and 3. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, my bag. I'm, I'm up to read it again. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, that son of perdition. Okay, so now what is, uh, it says, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away, of, away first. What's the falling away part, brothers? All praises. Us going into captivity. All praises. So that falling away is us going into captivity. Give me Luke chapter 21, verse 24. Luke 21 and verse 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And so we should go ahead. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So, so, hold on, read it one more time. I'm not here, wait, Claire. Uh, Luke 21, okay. verse 24. Uh, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword. And they is talking about us. A they is talking about Israelites shall fall by the edge of the sword. Come on. And shall be led away captive 
into all nations. So he's gonna be laying away captives into all nations. Read. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. Until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So we had to go into captivity. We had to. It's no if, ands, buts about it. We had to go into the captivity to see to when we woke up, guys. Listen up, brothers and sisters. When we woke up, we had to see that God sent us into captivity, and we also had to see who the devil was. You had to go into captivity to see this thing. That's why we going through this. Let's read, let's read 2 Thessalonians, then Luke 21, and then we go to the next. Because I want everybody to understand this. I want this to be clear to y'all. Read it again. 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except they're coming falling away first. So the day Christ come back cannot come until we went into captivity. Read. And that man of sin be revealed. And then the man of sin is the so-called white man. He has to be revealed. He wasn't revealed before the 1400s. He wasn't revealed. We couldn't reveal him in Rome because he would have got, we would have got what? Killed. Revealing him. So he, we had to go into captivity for the white man. Give me, hold that. I know we got a lot going on. I, but hold that. I, just, I keep on getting though. It's like coming out like hot sauce. Give me, give me, uh, give me 1 Corinthians 3, chapter 19. Watch this. Hold on. Let me see. Do I get that already written? No, don't go to that. Don't go to that. I already got it written down, so I don't want to mess with that. So we had to go into captivity, guys, so we can see who we was and see who our enemy was. Everybody got that? All right. From our officer Jabali, let's go to Baruch chapter 3, verse 7 and 8. Is everybody with me so far? Yep. I, okay, all praises. What about y'all women over here? Y'all with me? All right, all praises. All right, let's get what we got, officer. Baruch 3 and verse 7. Uh-huh. And for this cause, thou hast put thou fear in our heart. So so for, for us to have to go into captivity, for this cause, God put his fear in our hearts. Read. To the intent that we should call upon thy name. To the intent that we should go do God's laws. And praise thee in our captivity. And praise God in our captivity. So he put the laws back into our man. Now hold that real quick, officer. We on the road right now, baby. Hold it. Give me Psalm 785 real quick, man. Right. Psalm 785. Because like, we got to bring this thing out so I can, people can under, properly understand why we had to go into captivity and why are our brothers and sisters blind right now. Read what you got. Psalm 78 and verse 5. Come on. For he established a testimony in Jacob. He established a testimony in Jacob. And they appointed a law in Israel. And he appointed a law in Israel. Now let's go back to Baruch 3. So the reason why I just went there is because read that Baruch 3 up to where you was at. Baruch 3 and verse 7. Uh huh. For this, for, and for this cause thou hast put thou fear in our hearts. Meaning his laws. To the intent that we should call upon thy name. So we should call upon his laws. Put God upon God. Come on. Praise thee in our captivity. And praise thee in our captivity. So who went into captivity? Did the white man go into captivity? No. So who went into captivity? The blacks, Hispanic, and Native Indians. Those that are the only ones that can call upon God. God did not give his laws to the white man. So this do not count for him. He didn't give them, and it's not the only, this, don't get offended, because he didn't give it to the Japanese, the Chinese, the Arabs, the East, uh, the East Indians, which is the, uh, uh, what's those people called, the Nepalians. He didn't give it to the Pakistanians. He didn't give it to us, none of them. He gave it to us. Greek. For we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers. See, now when we read in the Bible, we are getting the we are getting we are getting the reinstruction, re, uh, reinstruction of what our forefathers did. What we we bring it back to mind what they did, how they sinned against God, and now we're understanding it. So we won't what sin against God. Watch this, come on. 
that sin before thee. Come on. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are yet this day. Right now, guys, we are in our captivity. Why? Right. Where thou hast scattered us. Where he ever, wherever God has scattered us. For what? For a reproach. He scatters for a reproach. For a dis he, he disapproved of our actions. He did not agree with our actions. Read. And they curse. And they curse. So we, we was rejected from God and he put a curse on us. Come on. And to be subject to pain. Uh, here in America, we got to pay child support. We got to pay taxes. We got to pay rent. We got to pay for water. We got to pay for wood. We got to pay for every damn thing in the world that was free to us. We got to pay for it now. Read. According to all the iniquities of our fathers. According to them wanting to be around these other nations. Read. Which departed from the Lord our we, God. They departed from God to be amongst the other nations. Meaning they wanted to be judged like those people. <clears throat> Alright. So now let's go back. Hold on real quick. I got some read something. Because I, I, I got a little footnotes for me. It says, did we have to wait? Why did we have to wait until now? Why they couldn't say it did? Hold on, let me read that again. Why did we have to wait until now? Why they couldn't say it did? Why couldn't we say it then? Give me Acts chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. This is the reason why. Acts chapter 12, 1 and 2. Acts 12 and verse 1. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand. About that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand. Hands to vex certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with his sword. Uh -huh. And because he, he saw it pleased the Jews. Because he saw it pleased the Jews. Because the Jews, the Jews is us. Mm -hmm. They did not want to hear God's what? Well, Read. He proceeded further to take Peter also. So he wanted to kill Peter as well, Read. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to the four quarantines of soldiers to keep him. Oh no, I just want one and two. Is right. that it? Yeah, let's, 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 let's. All right, let's, let's read it one more time. All right, uh, Acts 12 and verse 1. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand. So Herod stretched forth his hand. To vex certain of the church. Cer vex certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, uh -huh. the sword. With James and the brother of uh, John with the sword. That was it. Okay. So, now let me ask y'all a question. Herod lurked under our laws, right? Herod lurked under our laws. So why would Herod kill? Why would Herod kill? And he knew the Bible says thou should not what? That's Esau tossing God's laws behind their what? Showing you that the so-called white man cannot keep God's what? He cannot keep God's laws. Herod was a tetrarch. He was the ruler over, uh, over us in our land at that time. So watch this. Hold on. Go back to 2 Thessalonians. 2 Thessalonians 2. Which one you want to start with? And 3. And 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. Let, let no man deceive you by any means. Watch this. For that day shall not come, except they're coming falling away first. But that day shall not come, unless it's a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed. And that man of what? Sin be revealed. And that man of sin be revealed. So we had to wait until we, we had to go into captivity. We had to go into captivity. Because we didn't have no choice. Because if we would have did it back in the Roman days, what did we just read in Acts 12? Herod was putting our people to what? The death. But the, they was putting them to death because they was teaching the laws of God. But Herod, the Tetra, he learned under the laws. Go ahead, officer. Herod, the Tetra, learned under the laws. He was an Edomite. Yes. Well, if he got to that extent, he knew who the true Jew was. Yes. And he knew the fate of their people. There you go. 
He knew he knew they were that their, their people was gonna be destroyed anyway in the end. There you go. So you see what I mean? Well, he might not do that much. But he, he did he knew he knew enough about our laws at that time. You understand? It, it, it ain't like he had the the whole understanding. You did? So with him killing us, uh, uh, knowing that we would do him killing us, it was just the fact that he didn't want us ruling over. Him. I got what you're saying because he did. You're right. I, I got what you're saying. I know. I see how you're saying it now. He knew that the Messiah was gonna come back for us. Right. And he knew if these guys was preaching his word. It was gonna probably bring Christ back quicker. Yeah. So he, I got what you're saying there, Officer Jewish. Okay, I'll praise him. You're in the spirit. I probably wasn't it right. Yeah, yeah, I got what you're saying. I, it, it hit me. I got what you're saying. You're exactly right. He's like, yeah, I gotta put these dudes down because you're right. They trying to preach the gospel to bring this dude back. Yeah. And when he comes back, it's over for us. That's why. That's why he. That's why he added his own religion. He knew what. He, uh, he knew what Passover was, but he added what Easter. He knew what feast of dedication was, but he added Christmas. That was to divert our people to fool our people, just like uh, Jeroboam and uh, Rambo. Rambo set up and did feast days on his own days. These things happen. Wow. All right, where was we at, officer? I'm sorry. All right. Well, that's the you already read it, right? Give me three and nine. Uh, First Corinthians three and nineteen. Okay. This is the reason why that we could not we could not confess to uh, those days because they was killing us. Now I want y'all to listen to this scripture because it's gonna give you understanding why we had to go into captivity. Why every time somebody gets sick or every time somebody something happened to somebody, y'all think that sometimes it's a bad thing. It's not. You remember what um before we get that off, I need to break this out real quick. Give me Genesis chapter uh I want where Genesis is it 50 or 49? I think it's 50. Where uh where he said y'all y'all meant this for evil for me. I think it's 50 and 16. But I meant it for good. But God meant it for good. Maybe 48. Genesis. It says in two spots. Yeah, start with verse 19, 50 and verse 19. All right, Genesis 50 and verse 19. Read. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for I am for I am for am I in the place of God. Read. But as for you, you thought evil against me. You thought evil against me. But God meant it unto good. But God meant it for good. Read. To bring to pass as it is this day. To save much people alive. Just To say what? Much people alive. See, so he had to go into captivity into Egypt to save much people alive. Now, I, I know this is a bad spot right here, but I get uh, I was uh, going with something that you know, get you to go, go for the uh, exit to I'll be right back. Give me one second, brothers and sisters. I was just gonna go. We'll just, we'll just read over. We'll just read. Yeah. Uh, Exodus twenty. In verse 1. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. 
Thou shalt not bow down thou shalt to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thou God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of, of the fathers upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto the thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor the cattle, nor the stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that, it, all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings, and the noise of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. And they said unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God has come to prove you, and that his fear may be, for, be before you, your, before your faces, that ye sin not. And the people stood afar off, and Moses drew near unto the thick darkness where God was. And the Lord said unto Moses, Thus thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, Ye have seen that I have talked with you from heaven. Ye shall not make with me gods of silver, Neither shall ye make unto you gods of gold, an altar of earth thou shalt make unto me, and shall sacrifice thereon thou burnt offerings, and thou peace offerings, thou sheep, and thou oxen. In all places where I record my name, I will come unto thee, and I will bless thee. And if thou wilt make me an altar of stone, thou shalt not build it for huge stone. For if thou lift up thou tool upon it, thou hast polluted it. Neither shalt thou go up by steps unto my altar, that thy nakedness be not discovered therein. Now these are the judgments which thou shalt set before them. If thou buy an Hebrew servant six years, he shall serve. And in the seventh, he shall go out free from, for nothing. If he came in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he were married, then his wife shall go out with him. If his master had given him a wife, and she have borne him sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall be her masters, and he shall go out by himself. Right. Let's go back. Go back to the right. uh, Genesis All right, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. All right, Genesis chapter 50, verse 19. All right, Genesis 50 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for I am for I am in the place of God. But as for you, you thought evil against me. But for you, you thought evil against me. But God meant it unto good. And God meant it unto good. So now from our, give me 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19. So the guy, guys, we had to go into captivity. And what did we have to go to captivity for? Two, two things I said. What did we have to go to captivity for? I know one, one was to, 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 to realize who our enemy was. To see who our enemy was. And, uh, and realize that, uh, that it was God that, that, that God sent us captivity so we could know who is who. When we wake, when we woke, when we wake it up, we know who was against God and who was not against God. All right? 
When we watch this, I'm going to show you what, the, what I mean by that. Give me First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19. So we had to go, because we could not teach, uh, that was the second thing, we could not teach the uh, word mm -hmm. back in the biblical days. Uh, uh, when we was in Jerusalem in captivity against the Romans and the Greeks, because they would have put us to what? They would have put us to death and we had to reveal who the wicked was, right? So now watch this. Read what you got. First Corinthians 3 and verse 19. Watch this. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. So God says the wisdom of this world is foolish with him. Why? Read. For it is written. For it's written. He taketh the wise in their own craft. He taketh the wise. Look, when you take somebody in their own craftiness, what are you doing? You're exposing them. You're exposing them. Yeah. You allowed them to do something so you can expose them. So what happened? We could not teach it back in the days, but America came with the um, uh, freedom of what? Re freedom of speech. So now we can teach the Bible as it is what? Written. See, for some of our people, it was meant for evil for them. But some of us, it's meant for good that we went to captivity. Now you know exactly who your enemy is, and now you can teach who they are, and they can't do nothing what? About it. So it was meant for good. The ones who is in denial, the ones that that was the ones that were saying crucify him, crucify him, those were the ones right now that denied God's word skillfully. Them is the ones that I don't want your flyer. Christ, what color matters? Those is the ones that were saying crucify him. So God used their laws against them. Let's read that scripture again. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Come on. For it is written. For it's written. He had taken the wise in their own craftiness. And he take the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord. That's it. Prophet. So he take the wise in their own craftiness. So that's why he allowed them to put us in captivity. He allowed them to insert their laws for the freedom of speech. Now we can tell you who the white man is. We gotta think about it. Before they installed the freedom of speech, we was getting hung. You still couldn't speak. You still couldn't say who they was. You still couldn't say, you can even look at the white man in his face without him hanging you or beating you. Mm -hmm. But when they, when they put those laws in, as they put those laws in, that's why, you know, I really, I don't, I don't hate Abraham Lincoln because God had to use some of those. Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, uh, he had to use some of those white people yeah. so they could bring forth these laws. Hey, do I got nothing to say on that one? I was doing it again. <laughs> Come on with it, brother. So Abraham Lincoln and all those characters that you were just speaking of. Yes, sir. With God, uh, 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 he used them. See, they think they, they, they was crafty. They thinking they knew what they was doing, but but really, Most High put it in their minds to do those. He things. put it in their heart to do those things. And it ended up being for our good. It, it was exactly. They thought it was going to be for evil, but God used it for what? Good. That there you go, Officer George. That's why we able to reveal. Now let's go back to. Now, let me read this real quick. Now we can say who he is. Now, that's what I, I wrote that as footnote. Now we can say who the white man is because in his laws, we got a freedom of speech. And if you ever notice, even in their laws like Facebook, not letting our views go through. YouTube, not letting our views go through. Even they, they do crafty things to keep down the word from going what? Going out. From going out. They still try to do wicked things. Yeah. And they, and, they, and, they, and they still try to uh, deny the fact that they're Esau. Yes. They'll do everything in their power. Yes. They're, they're, they're just like at the time I was telling you, I was looking something up, and they were saying that Esau was, um, I forget, not the word extinct, but they no longer existed. They no longer existed, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. And then and, 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 and that's what they say. But we know that Esau still exists. Why? Wow. 
All you gotta do is read Genesis. There you go. But it, it's, it's, it's but you where, where can we read about him in the New Testament? We just left off of it. Romans 9 and 13. Well, yeah. For Jacob, our love, and Esau, and Abilene. So yeah. where's they, is it, where they, why they don't exist? And we also know that Esau, the one, took us into captivity, right or wrong? We know that. Because it says the Grecians. Mm -hmm. What color is the Grecians? Okay, give me Revelation 13 and 10 real quick. Watch this. This is how we also know that he, he exists. Revelation 13 and verse 10. Watch this. He that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Have, have the white man went into captivity to anybody? No. 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 Read. He that killeth. He that killeth with the sword. He that killeth with the sword. That was, that was his guilt from his father to be a warrior. He that killeth with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. Is the white man, have they died off yet? The so called white man? No. They still here with the sword. Read. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. The patience of the saints are you enduring until the end, knowing that your oppressor is over top of you. That's your faith. God is telling you to endure to the end. All right, so where was we at, officer? Okay, 2 Thessalonians, let's go in. All right, 2 Thessalonians 3 and verse 4. Come on. And we have confidence in the Lord. We have confidence in the Lord. Touching you, that ye both do and will do the things which we command you. No, uh, I'm sorry. Did I say 3? 2 Thessalonians 3. No, no, 2. Second, yeah, we remember. Thessalonians 2 and 4. Yeah, I said 3. I right, meant 2. 2. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. Stop. How do this man, how do this man opposes and exalteth himself above all that is called God? Somebody give me an example, please. Uh, he opposes and exalteth himself above all that is called God. He opposes one thing. Uh, when he uh, comes up with his own doctrines in uh, holy days, it's called holiday. Okay. Okay. How do uh, he's opposed it and he exalted himself? What it what means to exalt? Creating his own laws, uh, uh, or or. Uh, like the Pope sitting in, in, a, in a, you know, sitting up there like he's God, like they use the Pope as being okay. like a high official, you know, above the churches. Okay. Officer, you, you want to help him out a little bit? He's right. He's right. But there's something else. Who imposes and exalted itself above all that is called God. Think about that. Think about how to see it. I know, I know it. I just can't think of it. Okay, guys, just read it again. Watch this. I got you. Let's go back to Daniel. Yeah, let's go back to Daniel. But go ahead. Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God. Opposing means what? He's opposite. Opposite. So he's opposite against everything. God says do the laws. He says, I you ain't got to do the law. So he opposes anything that is of, of God. God says, thou shalt not eat pork. Mm. He says, you can eat pork. He's opposing everything that is against God. But watch this, come on. It says, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God. All that is opposed and exalted himself. Me exalted means to lift yourself up. Yeah. So he lifts himself up above us. He lifted himself above us. What's the scripture where it says uh, in the uh, in the side, in the north, it should be over them. The Give me Isaiah fourteen. Isaiah fourteen. That's what I want. Isaiah fourteen, <clears throat> in verse one. Verse no, uh, thirteen. Thirteen. For thou hast said in thy heart. Thou hast said in thy heart. He's talking about Esau right here. I will ascend into heaven. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Come on. 
I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. There you go. He said he's going to sit, he's going to lift himself above stars, meaning he's going to be able to be in the sky like God. He's going to be able to go to the moon. He's going to be able to ride in the airplanes. And he's going to be over God's people in the north. North what? North America. You see that? So now let's go back and read it again here in verse 4. Who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God, uh, that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. I'm going to break that round down the rest of the way, but give me Obadiah chapter 1, verse 4. I mean, Obadiah 1. I'm going to show y'all something real quick. Who exalted himself. Y'all listen to this. This is going to be a, this is a breakdown right here. Who exalted himself above all that is called God, and that is worshiped. Who's worshipped right now in the world? The white man. That's why people also, when he said Stockholm, we've been doing this, Stockholm Syndrome. The Stockholm Syndrome, been, we've been saying it. But it's good because also broke it back up. And because you be, when you go through things, you be, you know, those little, little, little things like that, you forget. Yeah. You forget all about the Stockholm Syndrome. You, and it did, when you brought it back out, it brings it back to the forefront. Because our people do got Stockholm Syndrome. They love their enemy who will put us in captivity, who beat us, who, who uh, killed our babies, who, 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 fed, who gave smallpox to our, 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 our brothers. Our people be forgetting those things because they keep on cleaving back until they oppress us because they are going to make another movie with Tom Cruise, uh, Mission Impossible. Be a hero. Then they'll make the movies like the Avengers. Yeah. Then they'll make movies like Transformers, which if you sleep and watch Transformers, meaning if you ain't in God's laws and you watch the Transformers, you are you are really destroyed. Because you don't even understand that the Transformers, and I didn't know this until I came into truth. We are the Decepticons. They are the Autobots. <coughs> you ever notice in the movie, the Autobots was the good guys. They was trying to save the human race. You uh, you uh, human race. Yeah. The Decepticons wanted the human race destroyed. That's God. So in a movie, they reversed it. Mm. Just like Will Smith played in that movie, uh, Independence. Independence Day. Yeah. You remember Will Smith, the alien, fell down, landed in the dirt. He got him out of there. He beat him up. And blah, blah, blah. And you cannot do that to real angels. They don't die. They multiply. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> they, <laughs> no, they, they don't die. You can't hurt them. You can't hurt them. And they not going to wreck. You can't shoot them down. Look how many times Esau really tried to shoot down those those. UFOs. They can't shoot a man. They too fast. Choo, 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 choo. And they can disarm your weapons. You know they you know they, they got a thing where they can make everything shut down. So if you was great hit them with a missile, don't you think they can just shut the missile down? Just shut it down. This is why we're going through this today. This, and you got to remember Proverbs, we had Proverbs 28 and 28, which is we already went through madness. Now we at what? Blindness. Now we at blindness. Our people is blind, and what we're doing right now is trying to open your eyes up with understanding. Now watch this. Let's go read it off. Alright. Obadiah. Obadiah. The one, one, and Obadiah one. All right, Obadiah <clears throat> verse one. The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. Concerning who? Edom. It's concerning Edom. Edom is who? The so-called what? White man. Read. We have heard a rumor from the Lord. We heard a rumor from the Lord. And an ambassador is sent among the heathen. So we, so we have heard a report from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Read. Arise ye. And let us rise up against her in battle. And let us rise up against her in battle. Read. 
Behold, that made thee small among the heathen. So the heathen, the God is talking about Edom. Edom is ready to what? Rise up in battle. Read, watch this. They are greatly despised. They are, they are great. So God says they small among the heathen, but they most hated of all nations. If you turn on CNN, T, uh, what's that? Uh, what's the uh, Alzir? What's that? What's that uh, new station over Alzir? We got the what was it? The BBC? What was it? Uh, what was that other news station out there? Y'all know what I'm talking about. The BBC is that it? I think it is BBC. Where when y'all when they don't when they do when they uh when they uh reports is unedited, it's it's without it's without muscle. Maybe yeah. I don't know if that's it or not, but it got it's one of them that is without muscle. It, it it tells you exactly how to see America filters their uh news station. their news station. They're not going to tell you how those people really really feel about us. They're not going to show you death, death, death to America all the time. Those people really want to hurt us. Not us. We just over it. But them. But that's why it says, read it again, officer. Obadiah 1 to verse 1. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord, God concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Read. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. So he said, I made you small among the heathens. Watch this. Thou art greatly despised. See, God is letting you know that Esau is greatly despised. They greatly hate it. When you look around, every nation hate Esau. The Japanese hate Esau, even though they Esau, they hate America, even though they in a, a agreement with America, it's because America had that nuclear what? Missile. The Japanese lie in bed with America. The Chinese lie in bed with America. North Korea lie in bed. I mean, South Korea lie in bed with America. North Korea hate America. But all these nations, I'm letting you know, even the Japanese, the Chinese, they hate America. Even though they lie in bed with them, meaning they they do business with America. That's what I mean by they lie in bed with them. They do business with America. Do their economy, do their uh, do they trade, politics, and all that stuff. They lie in bed with America. So it says, but thou art greatly despised. They greatly hate it. And these people in these countries, they don't show them on our news because our news wash way whitewash stuff. But if you go to these other countries, they'll tell you we hate America. Read, watch this. It says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. The pride of thy heart have deceived thee. Read. That, why do they got pride? Because they let off the atomic bomb in 1945 on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You can read Revelation 13. And 12, 13, something like it, tell you. That's why they got great pride because they didn't think that nobody was gonna be able to get nuclear capability as them. But they they was they was, that's why God said they got great pride. But watch this read. It says, the proud of thine heart have deceived thee. Have deceived you. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Read. Whose habitation is high. Because they come from Mount Seir, which is in the mountains. Read. That saith in his heart. If it says in his heart. Who shall bring me down to the ground? Who's going to stop me? That's what Esau says. Who's going to stop me? And that's why our people trust in America. That's why our people trust in this oppression. Because they like, can't nobody stop them. But they didn't know that God's going to stop them. Read. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. Shalom, sis. Don't thou exalt, that, don't thou exalt. So now God is giving you a clue of who they are. Don't I exalt, don't they exalt themselves as the eagle? When you look at the nations with the eagle, it's not a lot of them. And majority of them that got the eagle is what color are they? They the same people. Don't thou exalt thyself as the eagle. And though thou set thy nest among the stars. Who went to space? Who got 
had space stations. You know what's funny? These Flat Earth Brothers is the funniest people ever. Because they don't believe this scripture right here, but they say they believe God. But the Bible says, who, read that part again. Who, who? Look, those that exalt thyself is the eagle, and those that set thy nest among the stars. Look, for your nest to be among the stars, among the stars is on the stars. How the hell can you be on earth and be on the star? You got to be up in space to be on the star. The moon is what? Sure. Don't thou set thy nest on the star. Read. This will I bring thee down. Then, then America was going to be taken down. If y'all never noticed, after they went to the moon, they, uh, uh, World War II happened. After they went to the room, moon, World War II happened. America ain't been right since. They lost the Vietnam War when they was over helping South Korea. They, they had to get out of there. They had to evacuate because those damn little North Korea was turning their asses up. The men came, the army men came back here and it was nothing but shame in their face. It was too many of them. So since World War II, you gotta remember, after World War II is when they went to the what? You remember they 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 dominated uh, Russia. Mm -hmm. They dominated Russia and and who else was over and Japan. Japan. They went over. They whooped Russia at the same time they was whooping Japan's butt. They was dominating these people, and then after they went to the moon, Vietnam Vietnam came, and that was the first war that America lost. Read it again, I'll read it again. Watch this. It says, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. Though you exalt yourself as the eagle, as your national symbol. And though thou set thy nest among the stars. Though thou set thy nest among the stars. Then shall I bring thee down. Then God said, I'm going to bring you down. Read. Saith the Lord. Says the Lord. So God said he's going to bring them down. No, no, no. So, these are the people that went to space, and when they went to space, as you ever notice, I'm going to give y'all some clues. After Vietnam War, then other countries said, you know what, America is beatable. Oh, wow, I got a clip. And I can't even get to it. It's, I was supposed to send that to you. Damn, I got a clip I was supposed to send to you. Wow. It was in my phone, man. I I, I was supposed to send officer this clip. It shows you America. Uh, it shows you that uh, the other countries, how they talked about America mm. uh, as far as their power. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot. Hold on. Let me see. Did I write it down? Hold on. Let me go. Hold on. I might have wrote. Hold on. Here it goes. After the meeting, number one. Give me the Washington Post, officer. The Washington Post, even allies resent U.S. domacy. I did write it down. Thank God. Yeah, that's it right there. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right, I did write it down, all praises. I did that, I did that smart thing. So listen up, brothers and sisters, watch this. We're gonna start off with officer, yep, start off right there, start reading. All right, the Washington Post. <clears throat> it says, even allies resist U.S. dominance. Resent 
U.S. dominance. Resent U.S. dominance. Though the eyes of much of the world, the resurgence of the United States and its ascendancy. Oh no, read that, read that title one more time. Even allies resent U.S. dominance. See, even the allies, meaning the people that is on America's side, resent their dominance. Come on, watch this. Though the eyes of much of the world, the resurgence of the United States and its ascendancy as the world's only superpower has been one of the most dramatic developments since the passing of the Cold War. The passing of the Cold War, read. Historians who once warned about America's decline now gush about... Hold on, hold on. About, they, they warned about America's what? Decline. Decline. That's right here in Obadiah saying, he says... Though thou sought thyself as the eagles, though thou set thy nets among the stars. So after, after 1978, what now? When did they go to the moon? 1970 what? 68. 60, yeah, 67, 68. 68. Okay, 1968. It was 78. When was it? When was the Vietnam War? Vietnam War was that 70? Uh, was that? That was back before that. Like no. Mm -hmm. Vietnam. No. Vietnam. Uh, the Look Vietnam up. War was uh, 1955. 1955 through 1975. Through 1975. All right. So now, what? Though he said that, no. Uh, read that again. Though that uh, exalt thyself above the eagle, thou set thy nest among the stars. Thence will I bring thee down. So now, watch this. Read. Go ahead. It says um, historians who once warned about America's decline now gush about an age of unreviled dominance. But over the past few months, irritation and anxiety have begun to overshadow sentiments of admiration among America's closest allies across Europe, Asia, Latin America, and Africa. Convictions are growing that our accumulation of such a much political, economic, and cultural clout by the United States is breeding an arrogance that is unpleasant and possibly dangerous. Mm -hmm. Come on. Never before in modern history has a country dominated the earth so totally as the United States does today. Hold on. Never before. Now look, y'all know we had the Egyptian rulership. You had the Persian Medes. I mean Babylon. You had the Persian and Medes. You had the Greek. You had the Romans. They said never before have somebody ruled like America. It, it says the German the German news magazine Spiegel reported in a recent cover story American idols and icons are slapping the world from Kathmandu to Kinshasa from Cairo to Carcass. Globalization wears a made wears a made in US label. The Americans are acting in the absence of limits put to them by anybody or anything, as if they own a bank, a blank check in their mid world. Strengthened by the end of communism and an economic boom, excuse me, Washington seems to have abandoned its self doubts from the Vietnam trauma. America is now the Schwarzenegger of international politics showing off muscles, obtrusive, intimidating. Uh, is it, go ahead, uh, how much more you got? Right uh, yeah, go ahead, just read to right there. The chorus of dismay with America's overwhelming power has grown louder lately as the United States finds itself increasingly accused of bullying the rest of the world. Hold on, so, hold on, hold on. The United States did what, officer? The United States finds itself increasingly accused of bullying the rest of the world. Stop. Is this the Washington Post? Yeah. Didn't they pass things on kids bullying people at school? Or people bullying people? But the Washington Post said the United States bullied people. Mm -hmm. Nations. Read. Indeed, the United States is discovering that its behavior has come under sharper scrutiny from friendly nations that no longer feel prevented by Cold War, Cold War loyalties. Agreed. 
from expressing their disagreements with Washington. At the United Nations, the UN intimate allies such as Britain and Germany have not shrunk from excruciating, excruciating America's refusal to pay as much as one billion in past dues. So with America refusing to pay money that they own, so they feel like they are bullied because America said, you know what? What y'all gonna come and take it? <laughs> really? That's what they say, really? It's reluctance to increase spending on foreign aid to poor countries and its rejection of worldwide ban on landmines. So they, they, they think right here is, they say, look, America is sitting around, right? And they, they, they're, they're sitting around back spending up money. They giving, they giving uh, 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 Israel so many, so many billions, so many billions a year. They giving billions or millions of dollars over here, but they don't want to pay their uh, billion dollar debt over here. They just, you know, they just saying they a bully. Agree? And some 150 delegations gathered last week in Bonn to craft a global warming treaty. There was almost unanimous disapproval of President Clinton's proposals to curtail production of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. All right, that's it. Because right. I, I just wanted, this even went to, back. this is back when I, I went to this article. The reason why is because this shows you, this was when, uh, who was that, President who? That was uh, President, President Clinton. Clinton. Yeah. yeah, it goes back to President Clinton, but they already been feeling this type of what? Been to feel this type of way. Then there's another article that I had. I forgot to put it on. It was talking about uh, that the Europe, what a, Europe, some of the United States allies decided to get their own, strengthen up their own military because they said that they cannot depend on the United States no more. So that's right there is showing you that America's power is going what? Damn. Damn. Let's read uh, Obadiah again also. It says, uh, verse 4, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, this will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. This will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. So God says right there, after the, after the World War II, after you won that war, and you got to remember, Officer George, I, I wanted to bring this up. Even though Vietnam started in uh, 1955, America did not get involved right away. They didn't get involved until, I think, 60-something. Mm. I think that's when they got involved. Because you got to remember, well, uh, the reason why they got involved, because the uh, South Koreans, the North Koreans start to put, get more into uh, South Korean territory. But America wasn't involved right away. Those people been fighting, just like right now. The North and South Korea, they are fighting, they fight each other right now. They constantly fight. Okay? But America didn't get like, involved until, uh, you know, when, whenever America's uh, got something over there in their land or something, they got a station. Or what, I think they got stations over there. Mm -hmm. that's, that's when they get involved, when they start to, uh, what's a good word I can use? They become like an ally. Is that part of that? They, they was already an ally. South Korea was an ally. Uh, to America. To America. Yeah. America has a base over in South Korea. Yeah. That's the reason why they got involved in that. Like I said, the fighting was already going on, but America didn't get involved. We'll look, we'll look more into it. You know what I mean? We'll look more into it on our build up. Uh, but I just wanted to break that point about that it went on from 1955, but America didn't get involved right away. Okay, so now let's go back to, uh, to Second Thessalonians uh, two and verse five. Second Thessalonians two and verse five. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. So he said, "Remember yet when?" Well, so Paul was giving people warning of Esau way back when. Yeah. Way back then. Paul was already giving you warning of Esau way back then. Come on. And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Agree that again? And now we and now you know that withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. It's restraining. Now you know what is restraining that he might be revealed in his time. Ain't nothing restraining. That's what he's saying right there. 
Ain't nothing going to hold it back from he getting revealed. That's why, give me uh, Revelations 12 and uh, 12 and 14. Watch this. Revelations 12 and verse 14. And the women were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness. The woman is talking about us. Come on. Into her place. Into her place, which is called America. Read. When she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time. So we was took a girl for four, 350 years until we started to wake up. Read. From the face of the serpent. From the, the devil is what took care of us. Read. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. But the water as a flood is them giving us their philosophy. Once they let us learn how to read, they gave us their philosophy. They, they gave us their uh, theological uh, schools, their uh, seminars, their path. All those things they gave us is what the dragon worth wrought out of our mouth. The water that came out of the dragon mouth. Lies, uh, philosophies, and all that. Read it says, uh, water is a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away. So the devil wanted us to be caused us to be carried away, meaning that we would that we would forget God's laws. Hold on. I love that. Read that one more time. That he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Before we move on any farther, give me now give me first back of each one. I'm going to give you an example of what it was for us to be carried away as a fuller. Watch this. 1 Maccabees 1 and 41. 1 Maccabees 1 and verse 41. Uh-huh. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. Read. And everyone should leave his laws. Everyone should leave his laws. Read. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Read. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. So the Israelites consented to this thing as well. Read. And scattered and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. Read. For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. Come on. And forbid burnt offerings and, and forbid sacrifices. Forbid burnt offerings and sacrifices unto our God. Read. And drink offerings in the temple. And that they should profane the Sabbaths and festival days. So that we not make the Sabbath, Sabbath, the Sabbath sacred or biblical and the feast days, which is festival days, what they said. Read. And pollute the sanctuary. And should pollute the sanctuary. And holy people. Come on. Set up altars and grooves and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine's flesh. And put swine flesh unto God. That, that swine flesh is like right now on 4th of July. They will be barbecuing those pork ribs talking about thank you, God. Read. And unclean beasts. And unclean beasts. Read. That they should also leave the children uncircumcised. Which is a law. And make their souls abominable. And make their souls hate. With all manner of uncleanness and profanation. Read. To the end that they might forget the law. See, that's the whole point that they did this thing. To the end that they might forget their laws. Free. And change all the ordinances. And change the ordinance. You know that? They change the ordinance from you can you can be you can be a homosexual. Mm. You can be a homosexual. We said it because we rule. We God's people. You can be a homosexual. You can have tattoos on your body. You can tattoo yourself all the way up. Because we said, we rule it. We God's, we God's chosen. All those things God written in that Bible, it's, it ain't worth nothing. Shit. God told us we can do whatever we want to do now. Three. It says that whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king. Whoever would not do it to, to according, to, according to the commandment of the king. He said he should die. See, now let me ask you a question. So Esau killed you and now they throw you in jail when you don't do what they do. But back then they killed you, right? So why would you have to kill somebody if what they was doing was right? Why would you have to kill them? See what I mean? So they force you to do these things. That's why, let's go back to, uh, let's go back and read Thessalonians again. Second Thessalonians 2 and verse 5. Six. Six. And now you know 
that uh, what was told it that he might be revealed in his time. So now you know this is why we revealing these things to y'all now that y'all didn't know before. We show that's why the apocrypha, these fourteen missing books. God, this is about the Greek captivity. These things had to come. God had to bring these books back so our people can see that these they always been trying to take us out of their our laws. So we can forget our laws, so we can serve their gods. Because the more we serve their gods and the longer we serve their gods, we can stay in captivity. You notice the word I said? We can stay in captivity. Meaning somebody else is going to be over top of you as long as you serve it, their gods. So let's uh so Give me 2nd Ezra chapter 11 verse 36. Watch this. 2nd Ezra 11 and verse 36. Because he said that they, that they it might be, well, let me read that again before the officers start. And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. So what's re, what we was restraining, what we restraining it back then? Why was why couldn't we reveal it back then, Officer George? Because we would die. Because we would die. All praises. So now we can reveal it before we die. Because we have the freedom of what? Speech. Come on. Now watch where this we, So now God brought forth. This is why the Catholic Church, the Catholicism, this is why they took the Apocrypha out of the Bible. It shows you the Greek captivity and also it shows you right here yeah. that the American Eagle is is, uh, is the white man. Read. 2 Ezra 11 and verse 36. Then I heard a voice which said unto me, Look before thee and consider the thing that thou seest. And I beheld and lo, as it were a roaring lion chased out of the wood. And I saw that he sent out a man's voice unto the eagle and said. He sent out to a man's voice unto the eagle and said, read. Hear thou, I will talk with thee. And the highest shall say unto thee, Art not thou it that remainest of the four beasts whom I made to reign in my world? Stop. So God is telling the eagle. Who's the eagle, guys? The white man, so-called white man. So it's Esau is the eagle. So he's talking to him and said, I let you reign in my world. Yeah. Woo! I don't see. That's why when we get ignorant evangelists, elder women. Yeah. Read. It says, I made to reign in my world that the end of their times might come through them. That the end of their times might come through them. So God allowed Esau to reign so the end could come through them. Why do why did God need that to happen? I'm gonna show y'all why. Give me second Ezra six and nine, real quick, officer. Second Ezra six and verse nine. It says, for Esau is the end of the world. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. You see that? That's why God had to send us into captivity. This is the last and last and final captivity. If you don't get it together in this captivity, it's a wrap for you. You will burn forever. So read that again. Or now, uh, thou... That remainest of the four beasts whom I made to reign in my world, that the end of their times might come through them. Read. And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts. And the fourth came, which is America. America overcame all the other beasts. Read. That were past. That was past. And had power of the world with great fearfulness. So, so America, when did we just read that article? Mm -hmm. America ruled over the world with great fearfulness. Yeah. <laughs> that man said that it, America ruled over the world like no other nation. Yeah. And this is what the, and the Bible said. Read it again. Because the Bible said the same thing in the fourth. And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were past 
and have power over the world with great fearfulness. Three. And over the whole campus of the earth with much wicked oppression. And so long time dwelt he upon the earth with deceit. For the earth has thou not judged with truth. Hold on real quick. Let me read that again. And over, over the whole earth, compass the earth of the earth with much wickedness, oppression. With much wicked oppression. So these people ruled over the earth with wicked oppression. That's them. Instead of they having their corporations run Monday through Friday also, yeah. we're going to have y'all work Saturday and Sunday. We're not going to give you a day off. That's much wicked oppression. Watch this. And so long, uh, and, okay, go ahead, officer. You got me. You're on point. Go ahead. Uh, and so, so long. So long time dwelt he upon the earth with deceit. Still he the, dwelt on the earth with deceit. Deceit is showing themselves as God. Deceit is showing themselves he is Jesus Christ. Christ was a black or white man. God was a white man. The angels was a white man. We are over y'all. We smarter than y'all. That's the deceit they give you. When you break it down, when you come into the world of God, when you look at this Bible, what white man is smarter than any black man? I might be the dumbest of them, but I'm smarter than you with God's Bible. It says the fourth or for the earth has that not judged with truth. Oh, uh, okay, that's it. I just wanted to 40. Okay. Alright, let's go back. Second Thessalonians, my fault. Let's go back to Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians 2 and verse 7. So that eagle, which is the United States, yeah. have ruled over us with wicked okay. oppression. Yeah. It's heavy, bro. That's why, just like you, officer, that's why, like you, you go change position. A white man had the position before Officer Joy. Officer Joy said, I need off on Saturday, so I want this position. He puts in the position. All of a sudden, they still make him work on what? Sure. How the hell did the white man did have to work on Saturday, but the black man? That's ruling over you with wicked oppression, man. That's wicked oppression. Somebody else wanted to work in my spot in my job. Hey, hey, I'll work for you. I'll do a double on 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 I I can work. I, I'm glad. Go in there and even tell them that he'll do it. No, they fired him the next week. Wow. They fired him the next week. Wow. <laughs> That's wicked oppression, guys. Oh, don't get it twisted. Because the black supervisors is the worst. Mm. Oh, they're the worst. You think Esau's bad? He, 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 he's mad because you're telling him God's laws. He don't want to hear nothing about God's laws. He's going to be twice as hard on, on you because he is the white man's uh, watchdog. <laughs> get, him, get him, Spike. <laughs> He go get you. People think thinking I'm saying this is a racist thing. I'm not saying it is racist. I'm just letting you know facts. Why do everybody believes what everybody else can be in this world? Why do everybody believe in homosexuality? Everybody say, oh, it's just him. If somebody dresses weird, everybody say, oh, that is just him. If somebody, if somebody was a killer, you say, oh, he just made a mistake. But as soon as you were Israelite, you say, oh, you the devil. <laughs> they care about everything else. You can be anything else. Hey, bro, if we was the bunch of bank robbers, do you know what I mean? We probably have a hundred and thousands of prescribers on our page right now. Keep robbing the banks. <laughs> hey, they don't even say anything about a brother uh, being in the nation of Islam. They don't. All praise. That's a heavy thing right there. Yeah. Why do our people not think that they don't care about you being in the nation of Islam? 
They know it's a false religion. We have one there today. No threat. Don't we have one today. And you know the funny part about it is, he had to walk away. This guy too heavy for me. He tried to act like he had a phone call. I gotta, I gotta go. Yeah, I know you do. See, these things right here, man, is something that we just, we, they, they rule with wicked oppression. And for you to like that thing, that means you love this world. All right, let's go from there. Come on, Officer Jamal, give me verse 7. All right. So that's on this two, or two, yeah, 2 and verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who will let, now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. Read it one more time. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now let it. He that only let, now let it. Will let. Will let. Until he be taken out of the way. See, y'all brothers, y'all brothers, this is talking about you woke brothers. You woke brothers that know that Esau is the devil and you still want to go join in with your oppressor. You, you, you going to be taken out of the way. You weak. You're going to be taken out of the way. You know, you know this God didn't say he's going to take you out of the way right away. He said until, what did he say, officer? A letter until he be taken out the way. It means eventually you gonna be what? Taken out the way. It goes back to Ecclesiastes eight and eleven. Oh, uh, uh, just because, uh, uh, just because of evil, how it goes? Because of uh, work against the evil sickness. It's not executed speedily, and the sons of men in their heads they can do sin a hundred times, and they think it because they ain't died yet. It's okay for you to keep doing. That's the same thing that scripture right here is saying. You gonna get put out of the way. Why, let me see what I wrote down as a footnote. I said, how can you know that everything they do, I mean, everything they got is wicked and you still use it? I wrote that note because of this. Read that one more time. Uh, second Thessalonians 2 and verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. So now you brothers that use the NIV Bible, you brothers that use the blue letter, you brothers that use the, uh, the, uh, the uh, 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 strong coordinates far as using it as saying you learning the Hebrew or all, any of those things, you brothers is wicked. Because why is why are you using Esau's blue letter? If we been and lost our Hebrew way before we came to America, if y'all read the scriptures, y'all know that we was not speaking a pure Hebrew. Which I, I said this many times in my class, and I'm not going to stay long. When Christ walked the earth, when Christ said to them in Hebrew. Uh, when Christ said unto them, Father, Father, why are you forsaking me? They thought that he said something totally what? Yeah, that just shows you right there that we did not have the pure language. Christ was speaking the Hebrew that, that we were speaking. See what I mean? Christ and the Galileans, his people were speaking the Hebrew when they were speaking. The other people were speaking a whole different what? Hebrew. Because they didn't understand Christ's tongue. Verse 8. Officer, go ahead. Verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. As God's going to consume them with the word of God, read. And shall destroy with the brightness of his And then he's going to destroy them. God's going to destroy them with the word of God. And then he's going to destroy them with the missiles. And that's what you're seeing right now. We are destroying these evangelists. We are destroying these pastors. Because they can't stand up against the true word of God. There it is. These people are calling the police. They call the police on as you as see Oklahoma camp. They call the police on these people at Ebenezer Baptist Church. And the police all the can, can I get a can I get an amen in here? Amen. 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 
I didn't hear y'all. Can I get an amen in here? Amen. All right. Because the, the judge says, those brothers ain't doing nothing wrong to y'all. What they doing? They ain't doing nothing but teaching the Bible. Those people went to try to get a restraining order against brothers teaching the Bible. Where the hell you get these people from, man? man. This pastor can't stand up with the Bible and defend his belief. He got to go get the white man in the business. I got to go to the judge. I got to go to the police. Come on, officer. I'm just getting ready to say it, and it's, it's our own people. It's our own it's people. It's our own people coming against us. Yeah. Because they they want they because they want to stay in the wickedness that they're in. They love it. You know, he loves that he can eat big pork chop sandwiches. And people give him money to him to lie. Because all his life he's been sitting back waiting so he can live his life. And I ain't gotta sell no uh, drugs. I ain't got to sell no drugs. I just got to sell lies. See, I'm better than the drug dealer. No, you're not. You worse than the drug dealer. The drug dealer is selling our people dealt. And, 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 and them people can get out of that. They can repent off those drugs, right? But you're giving our people, you're giving them that, 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 uh, those lies, those philosophies that is embedded in them. Where they feel like you telling them, I can be whatever I want to be, and God is still saving me. That's worse than any drug that a dope man can give somebody. That drug of knowledge is a, a yell of a thing, boy. That's why our people are what? Blind. Where we at? Oh, so. Yeah, we'll check that's the one is two and eight. Give me first back of me. I mean, back of, back of, uh, Malachi, one. One and four. And then shall that we can be revealed. For the Lord shall consume me with the spirit of his mouth and then destroy me with the brightness of his coming. Watch this. Verse, uh, I mean Malachi 1 and 1. Malachi 1 and verse 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel uh -huh. Malachi. Read. I have loved you, saith the Lord. And so he's talking to Jacob, I love you. Yet he say, wherein has thou loved us? Read. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? It was not Esau Jacob. That's what our brothers and sisters say. Why you love us? We dying in the streets. Y'all don't know because y'all not listening. Y'all dying in the streets because y'all refuse to keep God's what? Law. So he said, how you love me? Come on, read. Wherein has thou loved us? Wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Read. Saith the Lord. Come on. Yet I love Jacob. Yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau. And I hated Esau. Read. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Read. That's the devil. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. So you see, Esau was impoverished. If you look at Esau, the white man, you won't hear nothing from them from, I think it's like 11 uh, A D I don't, I don't want to say nothing. I don't want to say no uh, dates, but from four, I've been saying 11 I'm not 11, it was before 11 uh, for over a thousand years Years when they called it was the dark age. I forgot when the dark ages started. Forgive me. I, I, I forgot me. But from when the white man, when we chased the white man in the uh, Carcass Mountains of Russia, Georgia, from that time until 1453, which, which was the rebirth, so you say around the 1400, that the white man began to come back into power, right? You won't hear no history on the white man and doing those things. Find me some history. You won't hear no history. You know this day history all of a sudden popped up after 1453? Then they history started popping back up. Well, who was they before 1453? Have them explain that to you. 
since the white beard is so, since he got answers for all things, right? Explain him where is y'all history between this time? I, I don't want to put no date on it because I forgot the date. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I did forget the date. From when we started ruling from the Dark Ages, to when the Dark Ages was here until the Dark Ages was over. But one thing we know is where is their history at? You let the dwell into the Caucasus Mountains where we wrote you <laughs> drank. Go over and get some bed bugs. <laughs> you silly man. Hey, so then watch this, man. Watch this. Verse 9. Uh, Malachi 1 and verse 9. No, Malachi, not uh Second Thessalonians. Uh, Second Thessalonians 2 and verse 9. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. With all power and signs and lying wonders. So even him whose workings, even him whose coming is after work, after the workings of Satan. So after the dark ages, this man came out and his works was of who? The devil. Read. And with all deceivableness. With of unrighteousness. No, no, you, you so go back, go back to verse 9. Or even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with Read. all power. With all power and signs and signs and lying wonders. As you, you see, the power was given unto him through the devil. The signs was uh Himashima and Nakisaki. And the wonders was the science of what? Today. And with that being said, it's right here. It said, even though or, I think of it. So, what do the devil gives you? He gives you false hope. That's what the devil gives you. False hope. These people are telling you that they gonna you're gonna get saved without God's laws. And they're telling you that we all gonna get saved. We all going to be in the kingdom of heaven. And you know what? When you really look at a white person and you're an Israelite, they truly don't believe that. They truly. When you look them in the eye, I don't know if y'all ever looked them in the eye. They truly don't believe they're getting saved. They always have that look. I'm going to show you the look. They go like here. They'll look down when they talk to you. They'll do it look down. And, and say... <laughs> And look, and look down and let you know that look, bro. Look, look, you know, look, you know, I know, you know, I know. Just look, we ain't got talking about it, do we? We ain't got talking about it. All right. So, at false, at false hopes, give me Genesis chapter 1, verse, I mean, 3 and 1, obviously. Genesis 3. In verse 1. I'm going to show you the false hope. Right here in America right now, they say we equal, right? They say we equal. Watch this. I'm going to explain something to y'all right here. This is the false hope that the devil gives us. Listen to how it's put. Read. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. So the devil was more slick. He was more cunning. Did, did any beast of the field, meaning any other man, read, watch this, which the Lord God had made, which he made, so he was, he was more, he was more cunning, more deceitful than anybody that God made, read, and he said unto the woman, yea, have God said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden, read, and the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said you shall not eat of it. Read. Neither say you touch it. Neither say you touch it. Lest you die. Lest you die. Now, now, you was wondering, well, why did you go here, Elder? I'm going to show you why. Because just like the devil told Eve back then, just like he told her, have we got to that point yet? Okay, go, keep on reading. I don't want and the serpent said unto the woman, you shall not surely die. But God doeth know that in the day he eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. So stop right there. So just like then, the devil told Eve 
that, hey, you can be equal to a man. What do America do? Woman, a woman can work the same job as a what? A man. A woman is just as equal as a man. A man should come home and cook hot meals. A man should do this, do that, do this. America put that woman on the same level as a what? Just like the devil just did Eve back then. Now our women, our women listen. They know they gotta come out of that, that crap. But these worldly women, they not go, who? Mm -hmm. You tell who you want me on? Nah, you ain't you ain't telling me when to cook and when I you ain't telling me nothing. That's my money. I ain't, I ain't you ain't you you better, you better get out of my if you got that thing, ladies, if you got that type of mentality in you, you are not of God. The devil got you. God, God put me and a God here to guide you to get saved. What's the best one? What's the best friend of a woman? What's the best friend of a woman? Money. You know why? Because that money, a woman can go spend, spend, spend. Long as she got that money, she's good. Soon as that money, soon as the best friend run out, she's evil. Now the argument so <laughs> because now she don't have no money. <laughs> now she ain't got no money. Now she's ready to argue with you. That shows you right there. But not men or women or women of God. They're not like that. They understand that the husband's over the finance. They understand that they got to ask their Lord before they do certain stuff. But Eve, Eve said, no, you know what? That sounds good to me. The devil said the devil was opposite of God. Let's read that one more time. The whole thing. Watch this. I'm going to show y'all something. Watch this. Second Thessalonians 2. No. Genesis. Oh, Genesis. 3 and 1. Genesis 3 and verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Uh -huh. And the woman said unto the serpent, You may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God have said, Ye shall not eat of it. Neither say you touch it, lest ye die. Unless ye die. So God, so God already gave her a commandment. He gave the woman the commandment, right? Watch this, read. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Stop. Ain't that what the ain't, let's go back to Second Thessalonians real quick. Second Thessalonians 2. And verse 4. And verse 4. Watch this. Who opposeth and exalt himself above all that is called God. Read and talking about us. Read. Or that is worship. So that he as God sitteth in the temple of God. Showing himself that he is God. Ain't, ain't that ain't that the, ain't the theological uh ain't that the the in their theological schools in their uh, uh uh seminary schools right? Ain't that ain't that where you learn that you don't have to uh you know you can eat pork now? Mm -hmm. Ain't that where you learn that Christ is all colors? Mm -hmm. Ain't that where you learn that there is no more Israelites? Ain't that where you learn God loves the world? John 3, 16. So we just went to Genesis 3, 1 through 5 to show you that the devil is opposite of God. So I'm showing you that the eagle, which is America, is the devil. According to the Bible. Because the devil says that everything that he says you can do, God says you can't do. Let's go back down to verse 10. Genesis, you want Genesis? No, Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians two and verse ten. Yeah. And with all deceivableness. With all deceivableness. 
of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. Read. That they might be saved. Hold on. You see that with all deceivingness of unrighteousness, that's what just happened to who? Eve. But God allowed Eve to what? Repent. But not no more. He said, with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth. So God is holding back his laws from people now. He's holding back his laws from you. So you brothers and sisters, y'all get here on Sabbath day and in other camps they do the same thing. Y'all get here on Sabbath days if y'all coming in here with that worldly mindset, what is what you coming in here with is the devil. Same thing happening in other camps. They went the women, the men, they coming in here with the devil on their mindset. You ready to deceive somebody because the Bible is saying something that you don't like. And that's what happened to Eve. Eve said, I don't like Adam being over top of me. <laughs> I, want to, I want to be equal to him. Read what you got. Verse 10 again. One verse 10 again. And with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness and them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. We got a couple of more scriptures. Psalm 58 and 3. Psalms 58 and 3. Watch this. Psalms 58 and verse 3. Read. The wicked are estranged from the womb. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speaking lies. See, they go astray. They go away from God as soon as they be born. The wicked goes away from God right away. They're not learning God's law. They cast God, they pass, they cast God behind their what? Back. Wisdom of Solomon 15, 17, 18. Wisdom of Solomon 15 and verse 17. Read. <coughs> For being mortal, he worketh a dead thing. Being mortal, this talking about men. A man is being mortal, he worketh a dead thing. With wicked hands. With wicked hands. For he himself is better than the things which he worships. So um, uh, a man is better than the things that he worships. Watch this. Whereas he lived once, but they never. That they never. Talking about the, the, your crosses on your neck and all that. But watch this. Read. Yea, they worship those beasts. They, also. they worship those beasts also. That are most hateful. That are most hateful. Who we just read about. Who we read about they was hated. Um, Esau. They worship those things who was most hateful, read. For being compared together. To being compared together. Some are worse than others. And that's why some white people would speak to you and say, hello, how you doing today? That fake garbage. And some of them just won't speak to you at all. I'd rather for you not to speak to me. I'll just say, kiss my ass. I'd rather for you to say that to me. Then speak to me saying, hey, hello. How you doing? Because that's the most fake garbage that you can ever see. Read verse 10 again, officer. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Give me Ezekiel chapter 39 verse 21. Two more scriptures. Ezekiel 39 and 21. Ezekiel 39 verse 21. And I will set my glory among the heathen. And all the heathen shall see my judgment mm -hmm. that I have executed. That I have executed, read. In my hand that I have laid upon them. Read. So the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord their God. So he's gonna destroy the he heathens because he won't he won't he's gonna know that he want the house of Israel to know that I am their God. Read, watch this. From that day and forward. Come on. 
and the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went to captivity. Hold on. And the heathens shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity. Why? Come on. For their iniquity. For their sins. So they're not over you because they're better than you. Or because they hire is better than yours. Or because they got better looks than you. None of that is real. They went into, you went into captivity because you sinned against your God. Read. Because the, they trespassed against me. Read. Therefore, he hid out my face from them. Therefore, he hid his what? Face from them. That's why we're in blindness right now today, because God hid his face, face from us. Read. And gave them into the hand of their enemy. And gave us into the hand of their enemy. That means Deuteronomy 28, 48. We must depend on them for food, raiment, and uh, water. Read. So fell they all by the sword. And so fell they. So that's why our people, that's why our young men and our brothers and sisters out here get killed by the police and killing each other. We fell by the sword because we went against our God. Read. According to the, their uncleanness. According to their uncleanness. And according to their transgression. According to their breaking God's laws. Have I done unto them and hid my face from them. That's why we blind, brothers and sisters. That's why we blind. Blind. Right there. So from her, give me the uh, second Thessalonians verse 11. 2 and 11. 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 11. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion. And for this cause, because we didn't keep God's laws, for this cause shall he send us strong delusions. Read. That they should believe a lie. That we should believe a lie. Is that it? It was an 11. Yes. Uh, it's all. Give me Amos 2 and 4. And for this cause shall we be so God sent us strong delusions that we may believe a lie. Amos 2 and 4. Amos 2 and verse 4. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Judah and for four I will not turn away the, their punishment thereof mm -hmm. because they have despised the law of the Lord. Because they have despised the law of the Lord. Read. And have not kept his commandments. And have not kept his laws. And their lies caused them to err. And they lied, and they lies caused them to err, to be an error. After the which their fathers have walked. With which their fathers have walked. Give me Jeremiah 8 and 11. Jeremiah 8 and verse 11. Read. For they have healed the hurt of my daughter, of the daughter of my people. Because slightly. this is the last that they, they healed us with the hurt of my people slightly. They gave us Section 8. They gave us food stamps. They gave us low income houses. That healed the hurt of our people slightly. Read. Saying peace, peace, when there is no peace. They know damn well there's no peace in this world for the Israelites. They know that they have no peace for us. Because uh, they... Every time something big happened, they sit back and they let us do whatever we want to do for a while. And then they come back and do something again. Uh, last scripture, give me back uh, Deuteronomy 28, 28. Last scripture. Where we start. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness right. and blindness. And blind. Stop right there. And blindness. That's where we was today. God, we went over madness and then we just went over blindness. So next week, Lord's, uh, Lord's will, we'll start part two with astonishment. Read. And astonishment of heart. That's where we'll start at next week's class. Astonishment of heart. That'll be part two. So I hope y'all brothers and sisters took something in for this class. I hope y'all gained a little bit more understanding on these things. And uh, we pray that y'all brothers and sisters come out of these things. We don't want none of y'all stuck in this world. Hey, if you know you're an Israelite, put on you women, put on your dresses, put on fringes at the bottom. You men, keep your beards. Keep your beards. Put your fringes on your clothes. Keep the commandments. Keep the feast days. Keep the keep all the high holy days, the Sabbaths. Do God's laws. 
do what's right so you can go home as well. We are TTIC. Thank y'all brothers and sisters for joining us today. Today's Sabbath class. Hope y'all did get something out of it. And with that, we'll say shalom. shalom.